Video of a convicted murder in the hours before he pulled the trigger may have a huge impact on whether he gets the death penalty. We've been following the trial of James Colley Jr. He was found guilty last week in the double murder of his estranged wife, Amanda Colley, and her friend, Lindy Dobbins. Now, in this video, the state says Colley is not under the influence of a drug. Colley's attorneys say he was. Our Julia Janae, our First Coast News reporter and attorney, joins us with an update now on the testimony from Colley's family. That's right, the state is calling one more rebuttal witness tomorrow. That's what's expected. And after that, it's expected that this jury is going to get that case so they can begin deliberations. We could be seeing a jury decision as early as tomorrow. Now, prosecutors told us or told the jury rather that there are five aggravated factors in this case that make it a death penalty case, including the fact that these murders were cold and calculated in nature, that they were premeditated, and that Collie's wife had a restraining order against him. Now, Collie's defense attorneys say that life without parole is punishment enough in this case. They showed jurors a lot of family photos, drawing out that emotion of Collie with his young children. His sister also took the stand, talking about her brother and their close relationship. And she also talked about a childhood uh, account where her mother took a bat to their father after believing that their father had an affair with another woman. She also said that her mother pulled a knife and that was something that she said James Colley witnessed when he was nine years old. But though she had a difficult time on the stand talking about how this death penalty might impact Colley's young children. He did everything for his children. He was a wonderful father. The court is expected to resume tomorrow morning at 845. That's when these jurors will be back here. We will, of course, be live streaming that on our Facebook page and on FirstCoastNews.com. For now, reporting from St. Johns County, Julia Janae, First Coast News on your side.